Welcome to Business Legal Lifecycle TV, the live TV show all about the legal aspects of your business to help educate you on complex legal terms in an easy to understand manner, to help understand why you need to do certain things in your business from a legal point of view, and to help you develop a plan for the future. Our mission at Business Legal Lifecycle is to help empower all small to medium sized businesses around the world to get access to legal advice so that they can help build their communities and make the world a better place. Hi everyone and welcome to Business Legal Lifecycle TV. I am Craig Mason and I have with me as always Jeremy Stratton. Say hello to everyone, please Jeremy. Hi everyone, hope you're having an awesome day. Indeed we are and today we wanted to talk about goals in your business. So pretty uh, important uh, topic uh, and everyone should definitely have some goals in the business. But what we want to touch on is why you should set goals. So it could be a variety of different goals you might be looking at setting, uh, depending on what sort of business you're in. Uh, but the most important thing is to actually sit down and set those goals. So I'm going to go through two things uh, today. And I'm going to kick off with one of the reasons to have goals in your business is if you don't know where you're going, how are you going to know uh, when you get there or how you're going to get there? So. Obviously, if you don't have goals, you sort of travel along in your business and you're probably, uh, you know, sometimes going well, sometimes going not so well. But you never know at a point unless you have those goals set, you've actually reached what you were trying to achieve in the first place. So important to have those goals so you know exactly where you are trying to get to. Uh, if you don't have the goals, then you may uh, fall off the wagon all the way and not really realise that you're not aiming towards those goals. Obviously, you can also uh, prioritize the tasks and those sorts of things around your goals as you go along. So uh, it's very important uh, to have those goals in place. You know exactly uh, where you're going uh, to go uh, and hopefully how you're going to get there. So that was the first reason. Jeremy, do you want to kick on with the, the second thing that you wanted to talk about? Yeah, sure. So, so the second thing is about the fact that all your decisions should be centered around getting you to your goal. So when you set a goal, uh, it needs to be something in your business or in life that you, know, you can actually achieve, or, you, or at least you can stretch yourself to try and achieve. In life and in business, and something that Craig and I've talked about quite a bit, there are so many bright, shiny objects. There's so much that you can do. There's so many opportunities that, that, that pop up for you on a daily basis. And you need to be able to filter whether or not you should do things based on where you're going. So uh, there's a great book that we've read, Craig, um, Getting Things Done by Dr. David Allen. And, and you know, we're doing this in October 2019 in one of my masterminds. We're rereading that book right now. And it was really something that, that um, came up for me when I was listening to the audio book today was just this idea about whatever decisions you've got to make, you've got to filter them through your goal. And if you don't have goals, then how do you know what decisions to make? So all of your goals need to be centered around where you are going and they need to be in furtherance of the goal. So you need to think about, well, what's the decision you've got to make? And then ask yourself the question, will it get me towards my goal? There are many ways to be right with this and it's not something that you should do for yourself, but it's something that I think was really important that, that our, our viewers and listeners should understand is set the goal and then make the decisions to help you get there. That's all I got for today, Craig. Cool. All right. So uh, we would encourage everyone in uh, business to sit down and set some goals. Now would be a great time to do it. Uh, and you may even think about setting the goals going into the new year. Don't leave those sorts of things to, to January uh, because before you know it, it's February and March and you uh, haven't set or reached any of your goals. So it's a good time now to, as you're leading into the end of the year, to be setting those goals. We're recording this in uh, October. Uh, so, you know, next month uh, we will sit down uh, uh, towards the uh, end of the month, I think, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, and do this process in, in our business. So it's very important to reset them, uh, realign with your business partners and other directors. Make sure you're all on the same page going forward with goals. But definitely need to have them in place. As Jeremy said, everything, once you've got the goals, then your decisions in your business can center around those. You can prioritize tasks, etc. So very important, set goals. All right, that uh, was show number 216. Uh, so if you're interested in the show notes, please jump onto the website. Uh, they will be available there. Uh, if you've got any questions or any input into the show, please again, get in touch with us. We're uh, more than willing to help uh, you if you've got any uh, problems, uh, specifically about setting goals. If you want some ideas about what goals you should be setting, those sorts of things. Uh, please get in touch with us. Happy to share that information that we have. Jeremy, that is it.
for us today. It is. I hope everyone has an awesome day. Uh, thanks, everyone.